A new round of peace talks on Ukraine. As the fighting continues, President Zelensky says he's prepared to discuss neutrality as part of a peace deal. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said he is prepared to discuss adopting a neutral status for Ukraine if it could lead to a peace deal with Russia. Yeah, peace talks are due to resume again later this week, but overnight towns and cities across the UK have been uh, bombarded again by Russian troops, this time targeting several oil depots. Uh, Thomas Morgan can bring us up to speed with the latest developments. So over the weekend, as we know, fighting has now arrived in this uh, western part of Ukraine. Overnight there have been several unverified reports of bombing explosions in these four cities in the western part of the country. Uh, from the relative safety area near the Polish border, the city of Lviv is now also in a daily cycle of firefighting as the war has reached their doorstep. Hitting fuel depots, as John said, has been a strategic ploy of Russian fighters throughout this battle so far. In the capital, uh, schools have reopened now for online education. And as they've reopened, Kiev residents have actually been reinforcing structures there, using scan uh, sandbags and scaffolding to strengthen the monuments and statues there in preparation, really, for any attacks that could be moving closer to the city centre. Now, if we move now uh, further east again, where the fighting has been most intense and most devastating, in Mariupol, the, uh, the port city down in the south, negotiations are underway for a humanitarian rescue of the 170,000 or so civilians remaining in that city where the shelling has been constant. Food and water also lacking there now. There are also reports there that Russia have been forcibly relocating thousands of civilians from Mariupol to Bezimen, which is in Russian-occupied Ukraine in the Donetsk People's Republic. Now, this is a satellite image of a camp that's housing an estimated 5,000 people there. Now, Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister, Irini Verisukic, said that 40,000 or so had been moved from Ukraine to Russian-held territory without any coordination with Kiev. Now, we spoke to one Mariupol refugee. She's now in Moscow and told the BBC that she was forced to leave her home city and given a difficult choice. Everyone was taken to the DPR, that's Russian-occupied Ukraine. Once there, you had to decide whether you were going to stay in the DPR or go to Russia. The choice was between the DPR and Russia. On Friday, as we know, Russia said that the first phase of their fight was complete and that even though fighting has been taking place across Ukraine over the weekend, Russia were now solely focused on liberating this eastern region of the country. And speaking to independent Russian journalists on Zoom, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that no peace deal would be possible without a ceasefire and troop withdrawals. However, he ruled out trying to recapture all of the Russian-held territory by force, saying it would lead to a third world war and wanted a compromise over this eastern Donbass region. Now, as the fighting has been continuing in their home country, as there was an emotional and, quite frankly, a mesmerising performance by two Ukrainian figure skaters in France over the weekend. Through the morning's front pages, and we'll start off with the Financial Times. They report on the US Secretary of State, uh, Anthony Blinken, trying to soften the remarks that were made by Joe Biden, um, where he seems to suggest that uh, President Putin could not stay in power in Russia. Let's go to the Telegraph now, which uh, takes on uh, the same story. Backlashes Biden at Biden for Putin must go comment. Take a look at the eye. Now, they uh, report on uh, the line that we brought you earlier that Russia is trying to split Ukraine into two parts, uh, like North and South Korea, says the Ukrainian official who has been quoted there. The Guardian now, same story as its main um, story, uh, but they also have the line there about plans for a big shakeup of English schools being revealed. The Times, same story again about the division, potential division of Ukraine, and as you can see there on the sidebar, AI hospital forecasting will reduce waiting lists, so more tech being used in the NHS to try and bring waiting lists down. Look at the Metro. Uh, they quote uh, someone from a uh, city in Ukraine, Chernihiv, uh, who is under siege by Russian forces. Putin out to starve us all, is the headline. 